हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल बॉटनी बाय केलोट्रापिस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रीफली डिस्कस बॉटनी सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट पेपर व्हिच वाज हेल्ड ऑन थर्ड जून 2023 बाय एसपीएससी सिंध पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द ऑस्ट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ बॉटनी पोर्शन एज वेल एज इंग्लिश पोर्शन so i have put my 100% efforts to make this tutorial and to make you people understand simply with the help of figures discussions and much more so let us discuss before starting this tutorial i am requesting you people please subscribe to my channel botany by kelotropis thank you question number 1 was that a fern differs from moss in having so this question has been taken from topper website which is the indian website and uh, we know ferns are pteridophytes and they have independent sporophyte while mosses are gamete um, bryophytes they do not have independent sporophyte so option c is the right one here option d independent sporophyte is the right one next one is a uh, which of the following is the type of fertilization in gymnosperms fertilization type in gymnosperm this question has been taken from vedantu which is also indian website and the correct answer is porogamous it is a type of fertilization in gymnosperms here is also same option porogamous next one is a perisperm is what is perisperm this question has been taken from by jews website and the right answer is it is a surviving nucellus in the seed here there is a little bit difference uh, between two uh, options here uh, option b is the right one which is persistent nucellus persistent nucellus or surviving nucellus they both are similar what is perisperm it is a mass of nutritive material outside the embryo sac next one is a largest ovule is that of it belongs to cycas and uh, its uh, diameter is about 6 to 7 cm question may be asked like this Uh, in plant kingdom which plant has largest ovule so the right answer is a cycas next one is a sweet potato sweet potato is the modification of it is a modified root it is a modified tuberous root having no specific shape and they appear thick and fleshy example is sweet potato so here is the definition so this tutorial this uh, this was the short of my youtube and uh, this question has been asked next one is a uh, which of the following are classified classified on the basis of cotyledons we know monocotyledons and dicotyledons so these are the uh, these are classified on the basis of presence of number of cotyledons monocots have single cotyledon while dicots have two cotyledons so angiosperms are further classified on the basis of cotyledons so right answer is a c angiosperms next one is a which of the following is an insectivorous plant the correct one is a dorsera which is also known as um, sundew plant this is the picture of dorsera others do not belong to insectivorous ranunculus and hydrilla both are hydrophytes while castor is a um, mesophyte next one is a which of the following does not produce does not produce bark so the correct answer is a dead palm because dead palm tree is do not produce bark at all it is made up of sclerified hardened cells which are left over f- 
from the basis of previously shared fronts okay and uh, some of them myself we were also thinking that solenum is the correct answer but solenum also has some shrubs which produce bark so the correct one is a dead palm which is the member of monocotyledons next one is a formation of embryo from unfertilized egg is called it is uh, taken from topper website and the correct answer is a parthenogenesis next one is a leafless stem of onion which is produced to bear flower is called this is the uh, question of vedantu website and the correct answer is a escape here also escape what is leafless stem escape escape is a non woody leafless and it is long internode next one which inflorescence belongs to compositae the correct answer is a capitulum what is capitulum it is a inflorescence of compositae or asteraceae family and capitulum is a dense flat cluster of small flowers or florets next one is a aquatic plants have aquatic plants have well developed parenchyma the well developed parenchyma helps them float next one is a entomophilus flowers are entomophilus flowers are large colored as well as scented they attract pollinators entomophilus means insect pollinating pollinated flowers next one is a banana plant develops from and it develops from sucker and uh, other type of questions are asked like this in vedantu as well as in topper new banana plant develops from banana plants develop from rhizome as well as sucker so option a and b both are correct here is the same question um, new banana plant develops from rhizome as well as sucker so option d a and b is the correct one next one is a uh, who coined the term acid rain the right answer is a uh, robert angus smith here is the picture of him so he was a scottish chemist he coined this term in 1800s and he was working in london he he noticed that uh, the rain tended to be more acidic in areas with more air pollution next one is a uh, per oxy per oxy acyl nitrate pan is a by product of it is a by product of photochemical smog what is pan pan is a organic compound it is also known as acyl peroxy nitrate apn it is powerful respiratory and eye irritant pan peroxy acyl nitrate is secondary pollutant emitted from power plants and engines next one is a spirogyra differs from moss protonema in having this question has been taken from topper website and spirogyra is a algae it has pyrenoids and this is the also same question spirogyra differs from protonema in having moss protonema moss protonema and it develops from spores which gives rise to um gametophytic body so pyrenoids are subcellular structures in chloroplast of algae and hornworts pyrenoids help them in photosynthesis next question is that what is the main source of main source of pollutants of nitrogen oxides sulfur oxides and carbon oxides the correct answer all of these they are photochemical reactions in the atmosphere burning fossil fuels in the atmosphere industrial processes as well so all of these is the correct one next is the largest herbarium in the world largest herbarium in the world is located at q next one is a 
इंटरनेशनल राइस इंस्टीट्यूट इज इन इट इज़ इन फिलपाइंस इट्स फुल नेम इज द इंटरनेशनल राइस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट आई आर आर आई इट इज़ इन लॉस बेनोस फिलपाइंस नेक्स्ट वन इज अ फाइटो एलेक्सेंस आर लाइक एंटी फंगल आर फंगे फंगी स्टेटिक सबस्टांसिस विच आर प्रोड्यूसड बाई द होस्ट एज अ डिफेंसिव मैयर आफ्टर इन्फेक्शन एंड आर जनरली नॉन एज फिनोलिक कंपाउंड दीज कंपाउंड आर मोस्टली प्रोड्यूसड बाय फेबेसी फैमिली प्लांट्स विच हेल्प दैम अगेंस्ट पैथोजेनिसिटी नेक्स्ट वन इज अ पायरोनोइड्स एक्चुअली इट इज़ अ पायरिनोइड हेयर इज अ टाइपिंग मिस्टेक एंड सेम वॉज रिटन इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर सो दिस क्वेश्चन हैज़ बिन टेकन फ्राम वेदांतु वेबसाइट एंड पायरिनोइड्स आर प्रोटीनेशियस सेंटर एंड स्टार्ची शीत ऑप्शन बी इज़ द राइट वन हेयर ऑप्शन सी इज़ द राइट वन प्रोटीनियस सेंटर एंड स्टार्ची शीत नेक्स्ट वन इज विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नोन एज गल्फ वीट द ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट वन सरगासम सरगासम इज अ ब्राउन मैक्रोवलजी इट इज आल्सो नोन एज सी होली सो दैट इज नोन एज गल्फ वीट बिकॉज इट कैन बी फाउंड फ्लोटिंग इन द सरगासो सी सो दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज गल्फ वीट नेक्स्ट वन इज अ मंकीज पजल is common name for common name for araucaria imbricata it is a species of conifers it was uh, the monkey's puzzle name was coined in 1800s by charles austin a noted barrister on seeing when he saw, he saw that tree and it is multi branched so he said that climbing the spiny spiraling branches would be puzzle even for a monkey that's why he called it monkey's puzzle next one is a partial root parasite the correct one is a centellum centellum is commonly known as sandalwood which is very expensive and useful while others are like loranthus loranthus is a stem parasite Viscum is partial stem parasite. Cascuta is a total stem parasite. So the correct one is the centellum, which is partial root parasite. It is a photosynthetic organism or photosynthet photosynthesizing uh, plant, which also depends for its nutrition to their other to other plants. Next one is the DNA. can be specifically tested by phalogen reaction that is the staining technique discovered by robert phalogen and used in histology to identify chromosomes as well as dna next one is a which of the following element is necessary for translocation of sugar in plants the correct one is a boron this question has been taken from topper website and the correct one is a boron which is a essential micronutrient which translocates carbohydrates in the form of sucrose next one is a pneumatophores are usually present in these are the pneumatophores which are present in mangrove plants these are actually modified roots they are aerial they come out from ground and grow vertically they help to get oxygen because these plants like rhizophora which grow in swampy areas which have difficulty to respire that's why these modified roots come out from ground and help in the those plants in respiration next one is a which fruit is a type of which fruit is a type of tree nut here we have found walnut is the correct one in byjuice question asking same same question is here but it has different options it do not have walnut option here they say 
cashew nut is the correct one so there is a confusion in this question actually some say cashew nut is a not um, true nut but here in Baijus they say cashew nut is a true nut actually in this asked question 29th ground nut which is um, type of legumes uh, and that uh, erica berry erica is a berry and the cashew nut is a droop so the walnut becomes the correct one so let us see if they found incorrect they will give us uh, grace marks next one is a a complete flower is that flower which has which has four whorls like calyx corolla and rosium as well as gynosium so option d one is d is the correct one next is a which of the following is not multicellular clemidomonas is unicellular while others are multicellular next one is a the excretion in amoeba takes place mainly in general surface some are saying contractile vacuoles so we have to confirm and we have to wait for the key next one is a plants which cannot manufacture their own food are known as heterotrophs some say epiphytes no it is a heterotroph all fungi are always heterotrophs mycelium of albugo is unsepted and multinucleate it may be called as septed and cenocytic mycelium of albigo albigo belongs to phycomycetes next one is a yeast is included in ascomycetes yeast is the only unicellular um, fungi next one is a bacteriophage can be recognized by its tadpole shape in top bar question is like this t bacteriophages possess tadpole shape next one is a what is vector vector is a disease transmitted by host the next one is a center of most axis center of most axis is occupied by conducting tissues this question has been taken from a study ada and uh, the correct one is a uh, conducting tissue other sources also uh, are other sources other sources are also asking or um, they are asking same question and uh, same options and uh, like competitive exams dot net and brainly dot in these sources also have same question and same answers options last one last question of botany portion most protonema resembles to it resembles to multicellular green alga this question has been taken from topper and the correct one is a multicellular green alga now the english portion question number 41 dash principles dash his principles he has to be very careful with regard to his principles he should have to be very careful the next one is a uh, she has been sitting in the sun it there is a mistake one hours not it should be sun far hour next one is a uh, i will look for it in the book question number 44 I haven't seen you since since 2009 so he, he here here is mentioned so we have to put the sense next one is that the children couldn't stop laughing the white shirt got by the dash by the dirt so here got is also verb and stand is also verb some are saying stand is stand is the correct one others are saying stand is right one so here is a confusion next one plural of thief is thieves t h i e v e s next one is a far cry from means it means to present a counter argument 
नेक्स्ट वन इज द वन हु बिलीव इन द पावर ऑफ फेट इज नोन एज फेटलिस्ट लास्ट वन गेट यूर गोट मीन्स टू इरीटेट सम वन थैंक यू सो मच